Welcome back after the break. There have been three blasts in Bangkok in the past few hours. The police say that the blasts happened about 100 yards apart on a busy multi-lane street which is home to businesses and apartment blocks. The big story at this hour, investigations are on to target the twin, uh, to check out the twin blast targeting Israeli embassy personnel. Sources have told NDTV that the investigators have ruled out the possibility and involvement of jihadi groups. But the local resident Iranian population is being probed. Investigators fear that the resident Iranians could have been hired to carry out the attack. Israel has squarely blamed Iran for the attack. So there seems to be an Iranian link in the attacks in Delhi and Bangalore. You know, Israel was very quick to uh, point the finger at Iran soon after this incident happened. Indian authorities, at least publicly, have been more cautious. Is your information on, on Iran's involvement based on very specific intelligence or based on what has happened in the past? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me. Um, I would like to open uh, by, by saying uh, one thing which I think is the most important thing for us. Um, it is heartwarming. Uh, to get the, the messages of, uh, of support, of, uh, of a very close and intimate friendship from, uh, from Indians and from the leadership of, uh, of India. Now, uh, you've, you've asked uh, an important question and I would like to, to refer to it by, uh, uh, by touching upon two elements. A, uh, as you well know, we do not touch upon, uh, upon intelligence issues and uh, you know, overall uh, security issues uh, in the public domain. Uh, but. Uh, from time to time, uh, the, the, there is advantage in looking at the forest and not only at the trees. And you are speaking here about uh, a state, a country, Iran, that has been calling openly for the destruction of, of, of uh, the state of Israel and for the killing of civilian innocent Israelis. You are speaking about a country uh, that only a couple of weeks ago uh, planned a cold-blooded assassination of the Saudi ambassador in, uh, in Washington. You're speaking here about a country that uh, more than uh, 15 years ago uh, planned a vicious uh, bombing of the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires and the Jewish Community Center in, uh, in uh, Buenos Aires. Earlier in the day, Home Minister P. Chidambaram confirmed that yesterday's blast was a terror attack. Chidambaram said that the attack was carried out by a well-trained bomber who acted within four to five seconds. But the authorities haven't got any clue yet from the CCTV footage. The explosion, according to the eyewitness, Gopala Krishnan, happened within seconds. And we think it happened within about four to five seconds of the device being attached. So it's quite clear that a very well-trained person has committed this attack. There's also reason to believe that the target was the Israeli diplomat's wife and therefore one has to proceed on the basis that it was a terrorist attack. We have assured the Israeli embassy and then the Israeli authorities. I did talk to the foreign minister of Israel last night and uh, I reassured him uh, that uh, uh, everyone uh, in their embassy uh, would be uh, taken care of and they would be given ample protection and their establishment will be given protection. We have a short break now. More news and updates on the other side. Stay tuned.